Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Sound Test Room, where today we are taking a look at uh, Obsidian um, uh, um, inside Nano Studio 2. So, Nano Studio's um, proprietary synth. And I have this patch here called Super Ambient Cities. Now, I'm just going to get on my stream, see who's here. Where you listen to some peaceful ambience. <laughs> okay, so hi Stephen, uh, three steak. Wall, hi Wall, hi Sai, hi three steak, hi Stephen, uh, Russ, hello. Um, okay, so the thing is with with Obsidian is it, if you buy the IAPs, which I I suggest you do if you buy the IAPs if you've got Nana Studio. The, the, the IAPs are brilliant as well and gives you a lot more sounds to mess around with. Uh, it needs audio tracks, I agree, uh, 100%. Uh, apparently it's coming, who knows uh, when. Um, but if we look at the patch here and then we go to this keyboard mode here, you'll see that on most of these patches, on the Obsidian patches and the IAP patches, the designers have assign stuff to the actual knobs on this it's kind of upper level like on a lot of these so you've got static and water on the ambience one so if we hold a key we can make massive differences to the sound just by playing around with the Let's turn the volume up a little bit And also by messing around with the actual controls and you can hear nothing assigned to that one or that one. You can see because it just says knob one and two. This is just off one patch, it's brilliant. And then changing the actual key will change the feel of the patch as well. Now stick around, stick around folks, because at the end I've got two new tracks of Joe's to play as well that I haven't played yet. So I really like that sound. And that's super ambient. I also like this one. We're going to get into the packs as well. I want to show... This isn't kind of a component. I just really like, like the sounds. And I don't think I've done enough for just drilling down and having a look at what's in the IAP packs. So we'll go into this super clav mix. I like this. That's a great sound. that sound so we could have a mess around with that let's go to edit the patch thing and we, you can see what it's made up of uh, oscillator one there eight these are looks looks like they've used samples here i'm no expert at program obsidian by the way each oscillator has different controls.
Don't forget to strike the like, folks, if you're already here. The multi-track, the R24, is that the, is that the white one? Is that the thing that, that it's white? What is what sound is that? This is called it's called Super Clav Mix. I've just made a bit of a mess with it. It's Super Clav Mix. Yeah, it's quite a good sound, eh? Yeah, white on silver. Have you have you not looked at the L8, the live track eight? Or the L12? Is it in an IAP pack? I, I couldn't say. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not sure. It might be. It's hard to tell because I have all the IAP packs and it's really difficult for me to differentiate between what's what. Looking in the IAP pack acoustic one, let's see. Now, like I said, that's a really dry sound. And you think, well, yeah, it's not that great. Look, 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 acoustic one. You've got to go and have a mess, you know, like with the different things. Brilliant Colin Parisian walkways. I'm not honest to God, because Joe was playing it downstairs. And I obviously it's Parisian walkways. It's obviously, I thought it was uh, Blinking Gay more. But I mean, I, bearing in mind, you know. Yeah, that would be YouTube. It'll be the stream. That's a lot of really lovely orchestral type sounds as well. Uh, 
not to use anybody else's effects either. We'll stick with the internal effects here, which you get a, a lot of really nice ones. You also get a, a, a lo-fi thingy. <clears throat> I mean, turn off. You get an awful lot of effects just with uh, Nana Studio, you know? It's not as bad as Cubase 3 is better since the last update. There is a still issues though. Now Algoverb's nice. Let's go dense room, actually plate. Nice sound. I like that. And then we can start to like uh, bung in other effects like there's like like the multi effects for instance have lots of different things in them, like a flanger. Or a chorus. don't really have presets you've got to make your own so let's go and find another sound let's get rid of these because they'll, they'll remain on the actual patch um, Quite nice. I think that would be lovely with if we have a look at the patch. I shall go through the second acoustic pack. It'll be YouTube. It's it's the stream. It's the feed. It's YouTube's uh, streaming service because uh, the, the internet will be either busy or what have you. Not a lot you can do about that. It's not the app. It's just the, you know. <laughs> so. 
So the crackling noise isn't the synth, it's the actual, the way it's dreaming via the internet. So you'll probably still be hearing a crackle and even though I'm just talking, it's just one of them things. You can't avoid it, man. It's just annoying. It, it, it bugs me when I listen to it back, you know, and I hear all this crackling, but, you know. It's either that or I don't stream, because streaming's like, uh, because uh, all these companies have re kind of reduced their bandwidth as well, it makes it difficult to stream live with really great sound quality. Do you know what I mean? So... I don't know. And I don't really want to stop streaming for a bit just just because the internet's a bit crackly, you know what I mean? That's a really nice sound. Playing the same sound. What's this? Cello room. <laughs> no, the cracks are the, the the internet internet buffer crackling is is crappy. It's annoying. <laughs> But I don't really, I can't, you know, I really don't want to stop streaming just because the internet can be a bit dodgy. You get the idea of the sounds and you like talking to each other, you know. And that's the main thing. So if I put that into a mix, Colin likes cello sounds. It would be very difficult to tell. It, you know, it would sound really great in a mix. What's this chambered orchestra? That sounds a bit... That's not that great. Nice. 
this doesn't sound anything like a harp, but wow, I like this sound. I get the IO key step to play it. Five percent CPU. It's really very good, the internal stuff.
Don't talk to him all about his craves. lost let's have a listen to some of the acoustic pack too because idea of uh, doing some stuff with very repetitive so that just would repeat like all the way through or something like and then build and build and build on top of that you know I don't know exciting news of the day was 
The, the MC, the Roland MC 707 arrived today uh, over a week ahead of schedule. So that's very, I'm very happy. <laughs> I haven't really played with it yet, but I have done the system update to 1.3, so... So if I feel confident enough, maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll do some just basic sound stuff, because you can run... Because it's got like 3,000 summit sounds. You can play it with a MIDI keyboard and you can play it with, you know, recording sort of thing. It's very nice. It will have to be with your, it will have to be with the key step. Key lab, I mean. Look what, I'm, look what I've got here, look. The little key step. Seriously, man. Don't need it, look. I'm all right with this. Yeah, I'd have said if I needed it. Well, oh, that's nice. It's about right, Hosa. <laughs> I like that. No, I'm going to get Joe at home MIDI keyboard. She wouldn't want it. She wouldn't want the Key Step Pro. She likes the she likes the larger size keys. Key Step Pro has these keys. Artori is sending me a Key Step Pro when they've got some in uh, next month. I think they said. I can play, I, I'm like Rick Wakeman with me, mate. I can play like four or five at the same time. 
but then you see you get the thing where his uh, Artori will write to me and go, mm, mm, didn't we give you a key lab? Mm, didn't we give you a key lab? Because, mm, so we can see it on screen. Mm. <laughs> And I'll go, yes, see my wife. So there's a lot of cellos. Oh, that's nice, an ambient. Oh, listen to that. I'll turn the microphone off. You wouldn't, you wouldn't like to see Joe Blee. You wouldn't like all the bad language that goes along with breaking a track. Like that sound is brill. Digi gut. In acoustic pack two. I need a bigger keyboard to play strange stage.
Nice. Tell you what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play Joe's last two new tracks. They go on and on. Look, there's loads and loads and loads. You get absolutely stacks of stuff. Get loads and loads and loads of cool sounds. Right. Okay. So that was Nano Studio Two playing with Obsidian. These are two tracks that Joe's done since I played the last ones for you. So they're on SoundCloud now. Um, look, 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 Russ made some comments. Look, look, look. Right, okay. So this is called Towards the Light. Now, I've, I've got to watch my volume a bit because I'm not sure how loud this is. And don't forget, guys, it'll be in mono. So I'm going to... I've got to get... You, 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 Joe, you've bought the key lab. You've bought the key lab. <laughs> we shared everything, folks. We share everything. But this track's called Towards the Light Made with My Key Lab.
So that was towards the light. <clears throat> and this one is Lockdown Sunrise. I think this was posted, I think it posted, Joe posted this one yesterday. Yes, yes. So two more of Joe's tracks there. Excellent stuff. I am biased, but I think it is. I think it's really good. And I think it's really good that a couple of weeks ago, Joe didn't do any of this stuff. She's a lyricist and singer. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And, a, and an artist. Um, but uh, wanted to turn her hand to doing this stuff. And it's. I think it's great. I think it's it's really brilliant. And And she loves it. And that's the key, that's the main, that's the most important thing with making music is that you enjoy what you're doing and uh, you'll you'll continue. Don't worry about anything and uh, compose for yourself, do what makes you happy and then, you know, put it out there if you want to. Uh, Joe just wants to, so it's nice. Anyway, and she, she of course, she appreciates and loves all, all your guy, all the guy's support that she gets and everything, so it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so guys, I am gonna go um, and I'm gonna break this stuff down and place on the table the MC707, which I may have a best with tomorrow. So whilst I'm doing that, uh, you say amongst ta, -ta to yourselves and uh, I will see you, uh, yes, very, very, very soon. Yes, yes, indeed. I shall be back to say bye in a moment.
Yes, yes, so that's what I'll be messing with tomorrow, trying to get some sounds going. Now, the thing is, <laughs> the colour, you can't see the colour. Yeah, it's much more, it's much more colourful than it looks. All these are a really lovely blue. This one here is a red. The thing is, you can't really see unless I, you can see if I kind of do that. I wonder if I turn that, let's see if I turn this big light off, hang on. Now, now it just looks mad. But if I turn this other little light on. Well, that might be okay, actually, doing it like the fuck me. I can't see it now. <laughs> uh, I might need it tipped towards me a bit as well because of the LCD display, so I could actually I could do that. I've got a thing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to... What's nice about it is for all the different functions, all the lights change different as well. But I'm, I've, this is stuff I've really got to kind of... Oh, still too bright, that is. I've got to just explore and... Uh, and have a mess with because it only come today so i don't know right okay guys yes i'll see you guys later i need to see what i'm doing now see you later Ta -da!